Jungle Drum, written and illustrated by Graham Bass. This is Nagiri Madogo. Small, isn't he? He's the smallest warthog in Africa. These are the bigger warthogs. They tease Nagiri about being so small, but that's only because they're jealous of the other animals who live across the river. With their stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. And here are the other animals that live across the river. Aren't they gorgeous? Every year the other animals hold a grand parade with prizes for the most beautiful. The warthogs don't even bother entering. Mud wrestling isn't on the program. Tired of being teased, Nagiri heads across the river to play with the other animals. They are arguing amongst themselves about who is the most beautiful. They turn and stare at Nagiri. No spots, laughed Chew the leopard. No stripes, whinnied Pandu Miller the zebra. Look at those silly horns, snorts Kafari the rhino. He hasn't even got a <coughs> trunk, trumpets Tembo the elephant. Or a neck, scoffs Twiggy the giraffe. Isn't he the ugliest thing you'd ever seen? Crows Ned the crested crane. And small too. And they all laughed out loud. Nagiri heads for home. He is not happy. On the way, he meets old Nagumbu the wildebeest, the oldest and wisest animals in the jungle. I hate being so small, he tells her. Everybody teases me. Old Nagumbu gets out a little set of bongos. These are magic drums, she says. If you play them, they will give you whatever you wish for. Do you want them? Oh, yes, cries Nagiri. I do. And he takes the drums in eager hoofs. Old Nagumbu has a twinkle in her eye. Just remember, she says, wishes can come true, but not always as you expect. And she gently fades into the bushes. The sound of jungle drums throbs through the night. But in the morning, despite all his wishing, little Nagiri is still exactly the same. Then he hears a commotion in the jungle. The other animals have woken to find their stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful nets and gorgeous plumage have all disappeared. And they are very upset about it. The warthogs, meanwhile, have woken up with stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curling trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. They think they just look fabulous. Here's Nagiri Magodo, they laugh as they trot up, small as ever and oh so plain, but we are just like the other animals now. We're going to enter the Grand Parade and teach them a lesson. Jungle style! When the other animals learn on the jungle grapevine that the warthogs are going to enter their Grand Parade, they are horrified. Look at us! They cry in dis dismay. Those awful warthogs will win every prize. It will be a complete disaster! They try making fake markings out of sticks and grass, coloured mud, but it all washes off in the evening downpour. The warthogs parade along the riverbank in their new found finery. You stole our markings, yell the other animals. Give them back. They're not your markings. They're ours, snort the warthogs. They fell from the sky, and now we are the most beautiful animals in the jungle. They belong to us, 
growled the other animals. And if you don't give them back before the grand parade, we'll come and take them. Poor Nagiri. What has he done? The wild African moon comes up and the jungle drums beat out again across the savannah. It's still dark as Nikiri creeps over to where the other animals are sleeping. He breathes a sigh of relief. To see stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. But then the animals stir and sit up. The markings are on the wrong animals. It's the warthogs who have done this, cry the other animals. They've put a spell on us. And they stomp off angrily across the river. Meanwhile, the warthogs are in a terrible state. What happened to my nose? What happened to my neck? How can I roll in the mud with all of these feathers? I can't run with this great long trunk. I'll end up as someone's dinner for sure. The warthogs have become even more like the other animals they admire so much. They've put a spell on us. And they stamp off angrily across the river. What have you done to us? demanded the warthogs. What have you done to us? demand the other animals. Everyone's shouting at once. Stop it! cries Nagiri Magodo in a squeaky voice. It was me! All the animals stop and look in amazement. He shows them the magic drums. I made a wish, two wishes in fact, but they went wrong. I wanted you all to stop teasing me, but I didn't mean for it to start fighting. Why can't you all be happy the way you are? Because we look Ridiculous, everyone says together. We want to be the way we were. Well, says Nagiri thoughtfully, if you'd be happier that way, I suppose I could try making one more wish. For the third time, the sound of jungle drums echoes through the still night air. As the sun rises over the rim of the world, the warthogs and the other animals wake and look around with the relief. They are all back to normal. But Nagiri Madogo sighs. After all that trouble, he is exactly the same. The smallest warthog in Africa. Something has changed though. No one is teasing him anymore. The bigger warthogs and the other animals look at Nagiri, then at each other. Then they shrug. Eh, so what if he's the smallest? Someone has to be. That evening, the grand parade goes ahead as usual. The other animals who live across the river show off their stunning spots and striking stripes, impressive horns and curly trunks, graceful necks and gorgeous plumage. The warthogs clap and cheer. Then the warthogs put on a mud wrestling display, including a very clever mud pyramid with a mud fountain, and the other animals clap and cheer. Then Nagiri does a drum solo, but is very careful not to wish for anything, just in case. And everyone claps and cheers, and the night is a roaring success. The end.